Hey, welcome back to uh, episode of the cat's taking his shit. Fuck me, dude. This early, the cat's taking his shit? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I have a confession to make, all right? Okay. Because you distracted me, right? And I forgot to go to the gun store and buy a bunch of equipment so that I am equal in strength to the people that we're going to find. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, on your own time, you had to go back and buy the guns no. and make it all back to this point? No. no. Oh, okay. For the first time in my, uh, my like, 500-hour playing career of this game, I I grinded for a bit. I grinded XP, all right? And I, not that much, I grinded, like, two levels, all right? So that I'm at it, least it, over a bit over leveled for this palace. Explain what the fuck you mean by grinded. I went outside. Okay. And I fought a bunch of enemies. Went back inside. Oh. We spawned the enemies. Fought them again. We spawned the enemies. We fought them again. Oh, and then that's like a trick to get more. Yeah, that's just getting more XP. XP without having to go get the gun. Yeah, exactly. I see. So I did that for a bit. All right, so, so, that, so, that, so that basically you cheat, 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 cheat. Cheated. That's not cheating at all. Yeah, it's not even remotely cheating. Yeah, that is a required strategy yeah, for RPGs in the yeah, 80s and 90s. Yeah, yeah, you are required to grind yeah, for for mm, for grinding's 90%, illegal. For grinding's 90 percent. I've heard grinding's illegal. I well, <laughs> you should be in jail for what you did to me last night. <laughs> Careful. See it. I'll reveal right. your true form. Look at this one night. What's up? I watch movies. Oh, sweet. Me yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I watched like five movies yesterday. Watch five movies? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, I watched movies. Okay. Uh, Let's hear it. I watched American fiction. Okay, yeah, still haven't seen American Fiction. You still haven't seen it? Still have not. Okay. Might see it today. All right. We'll see. Go down. Uh, I'll tell you. But, uh, I didn't know it was a comedy. You didn't know it was a comedy? No, no. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I had that problem with uh, Triangle of Sadness last year. Yes. And I could not tell it was a comedy throughout the entire film. Yeah. I, I do immediately. Like, watch it and I can think of it. Like, right, okay, yeah. yeah it's a comedy. Triangle of Sadness is, like, a very, like, a very dark comedy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, I, 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 I couldn't tell if it was, like, I, like... To be taken seriously uh, yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah. Satires can be tough that way. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, American Man, Fiction, yeah. Easy. Uh, actually, very, very good. I don't I like you say, I'll you know, best picture nominee. Ball. Actually, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because the Academy doesn't know what they're doing. No, you're right. Time. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm very excited to see it. I've heard incredible things about it. Yeah. Uh... I uh, Philly K. Brown is good, but I don't think he should have been nominated. Instead, I think another person should have been nominated. Like Charles Melton. No. This is somebody else that did better than Charles Melton. In American Fiction? Not American Fiction, no. In a different movie. That I'll get to in a second. Okay. Alright. Uh, and, uh, I thought Jeffrey Wright was good. You're uh, not saying Willem Dafoe. No. Okay, okay, okay. Not seeing Willem Dafoe. For one movie, Willem Dafoe did like six, four mo movies this year. Oh, poor things. Oh, for poor things? I haven't seen poor things yet. Oh, okay. I was just trying to think of movies you hadn't seen yet who you think might need to go over Charles Melton and replace Sterling K. Brown. So you were talking about a seventh alternate. Anyway, continue. Okay, uh... So... It's nominated for screenplay, which... If any award that it'll get, uh, it'll probably be screenplay, but mm. I still think that, like... Whatever else is nominated, we it's get It's too loaded of a category. Yeah. Because it's adapted, right? Or is it original? I believe it's adapted. Might be original. I don't know. It can't be like if it's based on any property. It doesn't matter that it's adapted. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll win a single thing. And I haven't even seen it. Okay. It just doesn't Watch appear. Watch this guy good. hit me. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh. So yeah, I thought that the movie's actually very funny and very good and. Like Jeffrey Wright's performance like captivated me throughout the time. I love Jeffrey Wright, man. Yeah. And I love Sterling K. Brown. Um okay. what's in the movie? 
Keith Rainbow, Davidson. Rainbow. Keith Davidson in it for like five seconds. Keith David's in it? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I love Keith David. <laughs> oh, let me just look. And then, what, what's I, uh, she's Rainbow from Blackish. What's her name? Of course, I don't know the one actress's name. Yeah, of course. Because, you know, that I, I'm a, you know, I'm a man who watches movies. I could. I can't remember either because I'm a man who watches movies. <sighs> Damn, I feel no. like such a piece of shit. Well, hey, man. As you keep on saying, women don't need, <laughs> don't deserve the attention. Whoa, whoa, I said this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, be I believe you said this in a drunken state. I've said a lot of joking fucked up things yeah, in the show. I believe you said that when... I wouldn't put it back past in me. New Orleans in uh, definitely 1997. <laughs> I was even bored. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I, I heard the recordings. Mm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but... Don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Stand back. Oh no, I tripped the security. Uh, you were the one making us be careful too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Nah, I think it's gonna be a solo job for me. Wait, did you go to the theater to see American Fiction? No. What was it on? Uh, it's on... Apple TV, I believe. Oh, it's on Apple now? Like oh, it, it's, it's on something. It's on Amazon on Apple. I can't oh, okay, sweet. I will. I will definitely watch it today. Uh, That's the last one I gotta watch. And then, so, the second film. Don't kill me. I'm not weak to that. Okay, good. Uh, my, uh, the other film I watched. It's, uh, you found highly regarded. You really liked it, I heard. It's called the Anatomy of the Fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I might win screenplay, but okay. It, it's between like that and, and hold of this, right? For screenplay. Come on, let's go. I believe so. It's yes. Press this button, but I don't remember if this is the right button. It is the correct button. Hell, top man! I did the. Freak button! It's like Panther was able to get out. Uh. Seriously. Thanks. Thank now we need to get Skull and Mona out. Uh. Yeah, I thought it was like a for like a courtroom drama. It was very captivating. Yes. Uh. I only have like one complaint. <laughs> is that like? Uh, is that the prosecutor was too much of an asshole? The, pro the prosecutor was just like his job. <laughs> Which is to be the biggest dickhole of all time. And that's uh, probably why he was hired. It's because, like, doing auditions is like, tough. whoever's the biggest dickhole, we're gonna make uh, that guy the prosecutor. Man, I saw so long ago, I can't even. I do not really remember. I remember like, her performance. I remember her friends' performance. Like, I don't yeah. remember him at all. Yeah, uh, going off of that, uh, I think that the child should have been nominated for Best Supporting Actor. He was great. Like, I mean, ooh, that's you know because I, I would have said the dog. You know, I <laughs> yeah the dog because I don't know how they did the the puking scene. Uh, huh? I think there's a little space between the painting's fin and the wall. Move it. That's interesting. The sun. Because I despise children. I hate child, child actors. Child actors. There's terrible all the time. Foreign child actors are better than American child actors. Yeah, because they know what's on the, at stake. You know, they because child actors are they they're like raised to be. Like, uh, the, like in a, in a wealthy society, right? Like, they usually, like, fucking, like, uh, Julia Andrews' child, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, this child is like, uh, fuck it. I, this is the only My thing. father's dead. Yeah, my father's my dead. Mom my mom might have killed my dad. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my mother is... And in, I'm blind. In, in poverty, <laughs> and I'm blind. It's the only job I have. It's the only way I can I like put that. my family for I, winter. I wouldn't have guessed that. I like that. Yeah. Over Charles Melton, I don't think so. But, Absolutely. interesting. Yeah. I think that's interesting. I mean, you could probably take out who else is in that damn category. Uh, Ryan Gosling's my second one that I would take out. Take Ryan Gosling out of there. 
Fun performance. Yeah. Best act. Best supporting actor. No. You know, whatever. Put that kid in there. What's his name? Pierre. It's, it's like, yes, it's, it's some sort of. I believe it's a French name. Real French. Yeah. Pierre Baguette. I think that's <laughs> Pierre, his name. Pierre Baguette. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't really believe, I believe That's the next ace attorney French person. We, <laughs> he's like, hey, be, be, be yeah. baguette. I can't remember what the next French person's name. But it's it's I believe is next person's name, Pierre. Yeah. It's Coco Melon Tortellini. <laughs> <laughs> Never imagined that there would be a button behind a painting. Press it. I'm always pressing buttons. The bomb. Yeah. Oh, good job. You did it! Let's hope you ever get back together with him. Get back together. Sorry. Thanks. Now we just gotta get Mona out of here. But I don't think we'll be able to get him out unless we turn the lasers off. There has to be a control room for them. I don't know if this if it's nearby though. We just gotta trust him. Come on, let's try looking for it. Oh god. You might have to leave me. Oh I got a vent. Let's see. I watched one doc short yesterday. Um, Nine Nine and Wai Po. Have you seen that yet? No, I haven't seen the short yet. Yeah. Look, it's a security whatever on here. Maybe this will let us turn them lasers off. But it looks like we need a password to use. Uh, let's find the password then. Look under the keyboard. Yeah. Uh, they're probably just gonna leave it lying around. Then what are we supposed to do? Right? Look for someone who might know it? I don't know, is that like somebody like just outside this door is gonna tell us? Holy shit! Hey, did you hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking around in here? I got a call telling me to change the password just in case. Ed, what did you change the secret <laughs> password to? Uh, hello? <laughs> huh? I said, hello, 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word, hello. My God, isn't that a little childish? Perhaps you should get a job as a stand-up comedian with that joke. Uh, you should be fine as long as nobody else finds out. It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Unlikely. Anyway, don't forget. When you see the code input, be sure to say, hello. It's also my favorite Adele song. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker, let's go say hello to the terminal thing. Oh, that was... I'll reveal your true form. Let's just kill him. For oh, his treason of revealing secrets. Yeah, I have... Let's see, I have... 27 films left and my Oscars watch, which is kind of like, but most, I mean like, basically none of the animated shorts, I've only watched one of them because the rest you can't find anywhere, at least I haven't, legally, um, yeah, I've only found like two, probably just go to the, the film, Le Marse, I don't want, for that, I want to spend money, uh, oh, I can get you in for free, you give me in for free, you, you, you got the free. connections, well, I'm a member now, and I kind of found a workaround on the online site to where we can both get in for free. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's abuse this uh, uh, small business that's uh, struggling to survive. Listen, man, just buy a popcorn when you get there. All right. And it's like, okay. Hey, man, here's a give me a Dr Pepper. All right, that's that's all I need. Well, you, you know what? Keep it, the change. It's uh, payback because these little dickheads that work there. Okay, all right. I go I go to see Zone of Interest. I check in. And the guy's like, if you feel inclined, stay after to talk about the movie. Because I love the movie. I'm like, okay. So the movie ends. I'm like, all right. I'll go talk to this guy. Why yeah. not? There's three people out there. I'm like, let's talk about it. It was a good movie. Well, little did I know, the guy said that just so he could ignore the shit I was saying. Just to say the shit that he wanted to say. Unbelievable. This little fuck stain. My God. He's it's like deployed my strategy. Do you know what a conversation is, man? No. Nah, I say something, you respond. I respond to what you said, so on and but so forth. why listen to your opinion when it's obviously going to be wrong? It's like you just wanted to send out your little what you think mm. is interesting factoid. All right. Fuck you. 
input this password. I'll say there was a woman involved in the conversation. She knew how to speak. Did it. How Do I remember her She's... name? No. No. Do I remember the other two men? Of men? course you yeah, do. Yeah, I know their name. names. Got their numbers. Like <laughs> Sweet. Let's go grab that stupid cat and get moving. Uh, get the cat. Sorry. That was very much unlike me. Sheesh. Weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit in the exhibit? Uh, that is true. I, I can't believe I made such a novice mistake, even for solid gold. But uh, something was drawing me to that this vase. Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Is it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look just in case? Let's put our fists in there. Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Wait. What is this? For real? Oh, I see. That's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it! It's a cat toy. But yeah, I'll explain the rest of it later. Just I, I, I have to attack. Huh. Hey, hey. Well, it's uh one of the souls from Soul. Yeah. It's uh Richard Almighty's character. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want to know a movie I still haven't finished? Persona. Finished? <laughs> yeah. Right, a movie I started months ago, fell asleep oh, during, and <laughs> have not <laughs> finished. <Joker>. Elemental. <laughs> Oh my god, I dude! I still haven't watched all of Elemental! Dude, I actually like <laughs> Elemental! <laughs> so what happened was I was watching with Savannah, my sister, okay? Yeah. On the couch, and I got an eye migraine, so my vision went completely blurry. And I didn't want to be like, guys, we need to stop the movie, because I can't <laughs> see. So I just I just fell asleep on the couch, I'm like, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Unbelievable. Well, and then... It was good, good. It was pretty nice considering it was your first time running into one. What was that? That panther was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give you a lot of experience, but they might be useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast and the attacks don't deal very much damage to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, so then I thought I fell asleep discreetly. Guess I started snoring. So they're like, so I wake up later on. They're like, we didn't finish it. We turned it off because you fell asleep. I'm like, guys. Let's I tried it. to fall asleep on purpose so you keep watching it. <laughs> yeah. So they haven't well, finished it either. I mean, maybe, so now I feel maybe obligated to finish it with the them. best because I think the ending is dog shit. That's the oh, only okay. thing I hate about that movie. Yeah, I got like an hour in. I can barely remember it because I was half blind. <laughs> the hell? How are we supposed to get past this huge hole in the. Calm down. What the, where the security guard is walking. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Your true form. Have you seen the boy in the hair? No, because I can't find it anywhere. Because it's no longer in theaters right now. It's not? No. Oh, so it's in that limbo. Yeah. Or you have to buy it for $30 on DVD. I can't. I, I don't even think it's on DVD yet. What the fuck? No trailer. So, like, it's either I watch it from somebody's fucking perspective in the theater. Yeah. And it's going to be the Japanese version as well. And because I want to hear Christian Bale, but no, I can't hear Christian Bale. Uh, not Christian Man, Bale, the, the, Patterson. the voice crew, Christian Bale's in the, the voice work film. of that movie, you're gonna, you're gonna faint. It's so good. It's the best part of the movie. Is the voice work? Is that English dub? Yeah, it's it's incredible. Robert Pattinson's gonna blow your fucking mind. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how Robert Pattinson has just become like. The biggest it actor, the most talented guy in Hollywood. Exactly, but like, nobody cares about him because he was in those movies. Yeah, because he was in Twilight, yeah. man. But like, I feel like he's completely like, that's gone. Don't you feel like? Because even Twilight is having this like cult reawakening. It's always had a cult. Where people, well, but, yeah, but where people get? are like, they even know sort of like more traditional whatever film fans are starting to like it because. They're appreciating it for how dumb it is. Okay. In a way. Um like they're showing it at uh the Moxie right now. Are they? Yeah. And not the Moxie, sorry, sorry, the Alamo. At the Alamo. That's yeah. more pristine. 
it, it's very weird. Like it's getting this like uh, more people like that movie than you think. Now I on the I on the no, 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 will no, I, not I know watch those. a lot of people like that. Though. I will not watch I, them. I mean, I, I I've, like I've seen it the first three. Pretty like a good idea, huh? Watching it ironically is a very good idea. That, that's that's my thing. Yes, yeah. I think if people watch it ironically, so it's actually like now it's had this like thing where it's like oh actually not too bad. And then yeah. plus he's fucking Batman. He's in Good Time. He's in the exactly. Lighthouse. He's yeah. in. Boy in the Heron, he's going to be in a Bong Joon-ho movie that may never come out. I don't know if you heard about that. I did know that, but I don't know what, yeah, where it's going. Yeah, that's so I'll stupid. I mean, count on Warner Brothers to literally, like, axe a Bong Joon-ho Robert Pattinson movie. Yeah. So stupid. Uh... Oh, it was other of the other movies. Uh... What did I watch? I watched another another film. What did I watch? Oh, I watched Robot Dreams. That's right. Oh, right. How's that? Have you uh, watched it yet? No. I mean, like I gave you, I gave you a link. And it was very difficult to find that one. Yeah, no, I just, I'm gonna, I'll I watch it. it. Hey, hey, you I think just, the link's gonna disappear? I'll watch it. Yeah, I had to skew at the depths of Reddit to find a and was I, it worth I, it? To find a Serbian website. I believe it's Serbian. All right. Mm. That's like uh, showing it. Worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Good. I think it's good. Okay. It's just a uh, cute robot. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's all what it is. Huh? Is this? Intruders in the second exhibition room. Happy in my woods. Oh man. Oh no. Crap. Let's get out of here fast. Which way's the exit? So robot dreams. Yeah, I still gotta watch that. Finish I'll Elemental, then I'll be done with. You have to watch Finish Elemental. No wonder you were so. It, that's why. That's why your fucking eyesight was dead uh, because you couldn't get the book in the subtitles because everything wasn't finished, dude. Wait, 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 wait <laughs> what? What? What did I say? So you had to. Uh, you had to finish uh, Elemental. Yeah, so I had you had to finish it. You finish had to watch Finish it. Elemental. Wait, wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see the finish. The, the last cut. Okay. Um, no, I'm talking about the finish. The finish. Oh, oh, oh Finland. Yes. Okay. Wow. There's uh, a lot there. Okay. <laughs> really caught me off guard there with your uh, Scandinavian joke. Yeah, um, exactly. But you, you don't care about Scandinavian people. Oh, yes, I do. I watched uh, a. I watched a UFC fight last night with the they're, Norwegian fighter. They're faking that, you know, they're just faking their back. Shout out Jack the Joker Hermanson. All right. Okay. Pulled it out. Lost the first two Hermanson, rounds. Hermanson, that's... That, won the last three. Pulled it out the win. That Tough is, opponent. That is a fake thing. All right. And guess what? The guy was Found out last night, MMA, illegal in Norway. That's some bullshit. Yeah. So I'm going to use this platform to fight for the legalization, the legalization of MMA in Norway. My my boy Jack Hermanson needs to have a hero's welcome. Maybe they don't want to uh, uh, cripple the, uh, the population of having them fight each other. You're in right. A cage. That's a good point. Yeah, because like once he goes, then everyone's gonna want to be a fighter. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you watched Robot Dreams, you yep. watched American Fiction, you watched Anatomy of a Fall. And I also watched uh, El Conde. The El, El Conde? El Conde. El Conde. Yes. I have a feeling that movie's going to okay. be terrible. It's the it same dude who directed Spencer. Uh, Spencer. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, sh what's his name? Um, I couldn't remember. He's a man, so like I shouldn't remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> Um, really, I didn't know this. Um, I'm, I've seen stills of the cinematography. Looks incredible. Yeah, I, the cinematography But, like, the movie's to gotta be not that good. It is. Uh, extremely boring. Yeah, okay. Excited. Alright, great. Why can't I remember where I'm going? Why can't I remember where I so am? So it's, it's like this year's Bardo. Except more boring, I'd uh, imagine. Because Bardo isn't necessarily boring, it's just... No, Bardo was boring. I believe it's it, uh, Bardo was more boring. Oh, okay. Because <clears throat> Bardo was so wacky and crazy that it wasn't necessarily boring. <laughs> it was more just Jesus why Christ. did why did someone make this movie on purpose? Yeah, 
and honestly there's a lot of similarity because there's the scene in bardo where it's just like him flying around yeah, in, yeah. in the mojave uh, mojave, De uh, mojave, mojave desert yeah oh look the electric thing's uh, deactivated now she's gonna say uh, let us move forward nice work joker uh there were, there were one oh. exact scenes hey. of that hmm okay uh because i've heard like have you heard about like the intense controversy about this movie like i don't know like i guess like the intense con uh, con uh, controversy no for el conde like intense like there's like a bunch of, like there's like some like geopolitical controversy about the depiction of the character uh i mean yeah it, yeah i got it. it was a satire comedy as well but i i guess it's like the guy who's being portrayed is like basically Hitler, so they're mad that he even made a movie about him or whatever. I mean, I mean uh, Charlie Chaplin did this 80 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to watch it and then read more into it. <clears throat> I think the, like, as long as you're, like, making fun of, like, saying that this oh, dude agree. was horrible, like he was. Yeah, Taika Waititi was Hitler and Jojo Rabbit. Exactly. And it was funny. It was. Uh... I, uh, because it was on Netflix, I turned on the English dub for like one second. Yeah. It, it's horrendous. It's absolutely <laughs> horrendous. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. They probably paid him like five bucks. They did. They probably did. It is Netflix, so. They probably got the dude who's the shawarma from the Avengers in the Alamo uh, trailer. Yeah. <laughs> to do it. Okay. So not not good. Yeah, and that guy in the Alamo <clears throat> trailer. I keep on thinking that's like the guy from Jackass, like the that new guy from Jackass. Is that not him? The new so not Preston. No, I think it is Preston. No, not Preston. Preston's been an old member. I'm talking. About I keep like thinking it's Paul Walter Hauser. I think it's like Zach. <laughs> you know Paul Walter Hauser. Yeah. You know that the dude from Richard Jewell. Oh, yes. And he's like won a bunch of, he wins everything now. Like he's in Blackbird and then he was in like another show. Yeah. Yeah, I keep thinking it's him. <laughs> Dude, that shit gets me every time though. It's like, I was the sausages in Paul Thomas Anderson's Phantom Thread. <laughs> yeah. I love that because it's such a random food. Yeah. Like I can understand the shawarma from the Avengers because you know the movie was like wildly popular. Like I don't know, like but like it's like I'm the sausages from that one scene in Paul Thomas Anderson's Phantom Thread. It's so weird. Yeah. It's like I'm the dog's puke in the anatomy of a fall. <laughs> <clears throat> I was all. I the fun fact, I, I was also the husband's puke as well. <laughs> you were in there as well? Yeah. Both of you together? Oh, man. Great. Uh, so, anything else you watch? Uh, no, I was... Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about Elkham. Uh, yeah, uh, very boring. Uh, the ending plot twist is insane. Really? It's, it's like... Wow. Uh, I will tell you that... Uh, the entire movie is in Spanish, of course. Yeah. However, there was narration that is in English. Okay. Oh, okay. And there's this British, right? Okay. I'll tell you that significance to the plot <laughs> on who this woman is. All right. Helen Mirren. I thought it was Helen Mirren at first because it sounded like it. So it's Glenn Close. But it's, it's not Glenn Close. <laughs> because Glenn Close is now just taking American roles. You know, Glenn Close has played an American significantly, uh, like, Whoa. ten times. True. Come Whoa, on. holy shit! Look at this thing! Oh, it's even gaudier than the rest of the museum. It's definitely look, uh, it definitely looks like something important would be would be hidden away in there. Let's go! Let's go find out. Alright. Ah. Whoa, it really opened. What's it Whoa. last night? the hell? <clears throat> Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them. This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting mm. up ahead. Oh, wait, there's something written on the sign. Lasers ahead. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. 
Please be cautious, as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right! There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real-world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go! I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. Let's head back. It's at home for today. We can come up, uh, come back here once we launch to hatch the plan. So plot twist, narration. Yeah, that's all you got going for it. Hey, uh, use this place. The gore is pretty good. Oh, cool. Like the horror elements is pretty good. <clears throat> it's not scary, but like it looks cool. Mm hmm. Is it better than Renfield? Did you see Renfield? I didn't watch Renfield. Good. Don't watch it. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> There's like a movie you like need something. once a year, Savannah and I see, and I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck, when will this end? And I'll turn to Savannah and give her this face. <laughs> She'll go, what? And I'm like, I wanted that to end an hour and a half ago. She's like, oh, I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or there's a movie once a year that she will she shows like very little interest when you see any movies she'll be like I want to see that I'm like what yeah. you want to see that you want to watch skyscraper with Dwayne Johnson you know what's hilarious I watched that movie yeah just last week did I tell you this no, no. no. I watched that movie on a whim <laughs> last a week whim. yeah um actually pretty enjoyable not gonna lie like not good better than I it's ever expected it better to than be. San Andreas yeah, it's better than San Andreas because okay, it's 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 less ridiculous, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, no, like uh, year before last, it, Savannah's like, I want to watch Amsterdam. She wanted to watch fucking Amsterdam, and I'm like, Savannah, because everybody's in it. Why? She's like, I don't know. It just looks. I don't. I just want to see it. She can't even explain. It. I'm yeah. like, okay. And then it's like voted the worst movie of the year. <laughs> and then like this year. I can understand it more if she really wanted to see Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah, which I watched. Which was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. Very surprised by that. Uh, but you know what it is? I think it's TikTok. I think TikTok well, tells her what she wants to see. That's probably it. And then getting... it gets in her head because she hears it enough. Yeah. She's like, I want to, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so it's funny. <laughs> can I help you? Introducing a new regimen to your rehabilitation in the form of challenge battles. For these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. <laughs> Cry your tears of joy. Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Should you prove successful, there is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. No, I'm not doing that. But yeah, she liked Renfield. That movie was a keeping pile of dog shit. What path do you want? Hated that movie. Oh my god, I hated it. Even though <clears throat> Nicolas Cage won a Saturn Award for Best Actor. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he did. I was like... Well, because, like, the, the Saturn Awards are just... I don't understand the Saturn Awards. They just give the awards to people that don't deserve them or whatever. There's like, yeah, we know this will get a headline. Yeah. That's There's too cool. many awards out there. Everyone wants an award. It'd be a lot easier if there was, like, five award shows, you know... I don't like who's who runs the Saturn Awards. What is it? Nintendo Magazine. Who does this? Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo Magazine. It's only the department of Nintendo that writes the magazine. Oh my. <laughs> 
Do you have any hot takes for... I made my predictions yesterday, by the way, except for the categories I haven't seen anything in. I don't think hot I... Takes? I, mean, I don't believe I do. I don't think I have any. I'm not doing that this year. No hot takes. I don't believe I do. But I have made my predictions. Now, I'm not... I'm not... I don't think they're going to stay, because obviously, like, you know... Okay, I might, like, throw it... Like, it's... Like, a lot of the categories are just... Screen... Screen... The, what SGA has to go and stuff like that. Those are big ones. <clears throat> no, it's not SGA. Is it? Screen? No, Screenwriters Guild. Screenwriters Guild. Those awards. Yeah. So it's SGA. Um, those are big because like no one thought Coda was gonna win Best Picture and then they won the SGA. Yeah. And then and then next thing you know it wins. I'm telling you, man, the best picture Ugh. sleeper is Anatomy of a Fall. No. Criti critics love that movie, man. Yeah, but would you have thought Coda would win? Hell no. But Anatomy of the Fall didn't win. Did it? What? It won screenplay. But I don't believe it, it did not win, like, best picture or whatever. I don't think it has, but Coda hadn't won, didn't win a single thing until the Screenwriters Guild, like, a week before the Oscars, and then it won. That, that's that's my big sleeper. Big sleeper. There's anatomy of a fall. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying. And that is not me. I don't. It's not even my top 10 movies. I don't think it's in my top 20 movies. Nah, I think it might be. Top 20. I just feel like that would be the one that would shock people. Would be fucking anatomy of a fall. For some reason. You know what's interesting is how many non English films are in Best Picture. I think it's pretty cool. It's almost like half the movies are non-English. Like nominated. Really it's awesome. Power, my, my. Yeah. But I... Like, yeah. So, like, the hot takes is only, like... Yeah, because I'm, like, 50-50. So I'm, like, I might pick Paul Giamatti over Killian, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. I, like, Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's really, it's Brendan Fraser and Austin Butler all over again. Exactly. It feels like. And who won uh, Critics' Choice? Brendan Fraser. Exactly. And Paul Giamatti won Critics' Choice? Yeah. You make a great point. Okay, I you don't know what to do. You make a great point there. Are you finished? No. Now choose. Give me this guy. Like uh, it is interesting, right? Because, you know, the actors on the Academy vote in that category. Let They're the only ones who vote in that category. And then it's the same with everything. Only the cinematographers, the DPs, they vote in that category. Everyone votes Best Picture, which yep. is definitely why I think Oppenheimer is certified win, because... It's going to win in the majority of categories, so it only makes sense that it'll win Best Picture. But, that being said, if that were true, then Dune would have won Best Picture, but, you know, that's not how shit works. Um, even though Dune Part 2 would win Best Picture, you can you can book that right now. It's not, it's gonna get nominated, but it's not gonna win. It's gonna win. Yep. Uh, it's gonna win. I'm telling you right now. It's not gonna win. I will commit to that right now. Right now? Yep. And I will not change my mind. Doom Part 2 wins Best Picture next year. If you win, if that does happen, then, uh, I'll allow you to kiss me. <laughs> wow, you will, you will, you will give, you will, you will, uh, give permission. That's interesting. I mean, early talks say that, strength, like, Doom Part 2 is, oh, is, like, no it's gonna on. blow everyone's fucking mind, which, you know, Doom Part 1 was already a perfect movie, so, you know. Yeah. Like, everyone, like, they re-released it in IMAX. It's re-released right now. I, I guess so many people didn't see it in IMAX. Okay. Because, like, everyone online is like, holy shit, that was unbelievable. I'm like, bro. Maybe, maybe, I guess, maybe I don't understand IMAX screens. Like, maybe we're just fortunate to have one right down the road. And I'm not aware of this, but you know, I saw, I saw doing an IMAX twice. That shit was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. If you didn't see doing an IMAX, well, you didn't see Dune. I didn't oh. on IMAX because I'm not 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not driving to watch a movie. I don't want to drive to watch a movie. Okay. <laughs> How are we supposed you piece to get of past shit. that door? You want to make movies one day? You're like, really? I just made this movie to be viewed on your phone. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Is Quibi still around? Because I think I'd be a good Quibi filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> Quibi died 10 years ago. <laughs> Quibi? You know who owns the Quibi uh, library? Somewhere? Who bought the Quibi library for like 6 million bucks? Uh, from? From Apple? No. Roku. Roku did? You can watch every Quibi original on the Roku channel for free. Oh my god. So if you want to watch Adam Devine, Liam Hemsworth, Kevin Hart... Ludicrous, I think. I don't fucking know. What they're all it is ludicrous. Like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Matarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Whoa. So this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be open in the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Matarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Matarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Uh, sort of. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! How are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Matarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Hmm. Hey! Why aren't you saying anything? Lighten up. It ain't gonna be so bad. All you gotta do is trick you, Ske. Have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! 
I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, <laughs> I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? That sounds good. Makes sense. Yeah, they got to distract Manorame by sitting on in there so they can distract him. I don't think that's all of it. And they can get into the palace without, you know, whatever. But we can, because there's the door on the second floor. Right. That is locked. Mm -hmm. That cartoonish padlock on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So if we get that unlocked. Yeah. Then the door that is corresponding to the real or into the palace will open. Because Madarame would see it, it would be like, Oh my god, my secret door is unlocked. That must mean that it is unlockable. So then we can unlock the door in the palace. It makes about as much sense the second time as it did the first time. But I'm 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 excited to see what it looks like. Oh <laughs> pretty exhausted for going into the metaverse. Let's just take it easy here instead of going out. Okay. Give this to me. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You get in touch with Yusuke? Mm-hmm. He asked me to come by tomorrow. Aw, oh, yeah, he fell for it. Um, do I, uh, really have to do this? Strip for him on. I am not stripping! Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Matarame see it, right? Yeah, what well, guy said that'll change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. Yes. KK, got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Matarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. But, uh, <gasps> there's a crossword. Yeah. Oh, oh the customers need to leave. Get the, get out of here. Hey, get out. Get out of here. Shoot. Hey, hey. Get the broom and shoot him away. <sighs> Where art is shown off and sold. Uh, an art auction. No. Which usually museum, which, a showcase, which art, uh, art, uh, <clears throat> curation, no, uh, an art, an auction usually is held in a studio, no, a venue, no, art venue, no, museum. Uh, the one word that you're not, you're missing is a, oh, a gallery. There you go. Uh. Gallery, gallery. A room or corridor where gallery. artwork is on display. The gallery is also the area where observers group together for all sorts of events, from court to golf tournaments. It can also refer to society at large, especially in regards to the majority opinion, or even a passageway made by an animal, such as, as the tunnel system of a mole. All right. Nice. Nice. Oh, so a pretty good day that we're going. Did you watch anything else? Well, we're gonna watch something right now. Oh, sweet! Gonna watch. I hope it's the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, it's on its X Files. The Vince Gilligan ones? No. Fuck. The other one. The, the David Duchovny ones. <laughs> <laughs> so put on your earbud, and we're gonna watch this movie. Okay. can't be serious. You think aliens did this? I've heard it all before, Skullzy. But just look at these bodies. They can't be from Earth. The story about an investigator who searches for the truth behind eerie supernatural incidents. Hey, hey. The atmosphere of the show is so ominous. I'm getting creeped out. <sighs> Ooh, that was intense. I could barely breathe through all that. That was a great 42 minutes of television. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ooh. 
Boom. So it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. Anyhow, what's with this sudden change in attitude? I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. Uh, I can say the same you. Yeah. Do not make a mockery of art. Don't judge us by your worldly standards. I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that. Oh, yes. Ah, sh shiza. I can't remember who played this character. It was me. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. The great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his work before, but wow, they are truly incredible. I saw some of his interviews too. He really is a charming fellow. It's rare to see a gentleman artist like him in a field known for having a lot of eccentric types. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Karasukun. Here's a question. Which famous ukiyoye, ukiyoye artist of the Edo period is said to have moved residents over 100 times. Oh, well, God, of course it'd be Ichirishi Madarame. Oh, yes, of course, the, the guy, it was Madarame all along. No, no, it's uh, Ho Hokusai uh, Katsushika. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Oh, not bad. Correct. It seems you know a thing or two after all. Uh, Hokusei had a bit a habit of moving, but he also changed his name quite a lot, at least 30 times throughout his life. His sole interest was his art, so he stayed in poverty, wore tattered clothes, and lived in squalor. God, how did this convict know a question like that? <laughs> Actually, Matarame's house was quite modest too. All master artists, past and present, always put their art above their fame. Ah. Steals students' work and makes them suffer. He's no master. He's just an abusive old con man. Gotta get him. We're going to get him no matter what. Well then. Lady and I will head over to Madamama's house. I wake up every morning and just scream my guts out <laughs> into a pillow. On Morgana. Counting on you. Look at, and we're gonna go to to Madarame's house to strip for him in. Then I Next episode, thank you for watching this episode of Persona Five. Make sure to like, subscribe, and subscribe to be notified when we upload. Would you? Have a good day. Bye. -bye.